But you have stated that while we must know this ancient history, we must not allow ourselves to get stuck in the past. You think that we should be about building new Africans. To the extent that you can, describe, give us a profile of this new African man, woman, and child culturally and psychologically. Okay, I think that in many ways I've done that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that in, in our discussion over the last uh, few minutes, I have really, uh, by implication, talked about what that person is like. It's a person who is reflected, I think, of the traditional African values. Uh, that is, like, concern about human concerns, concerned about spiritual concerns, concerned about the survival of humanity, concerned about the least among us, and the, 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 the concerned about bringing justice and order back to the world, concerned about facilitating the tremendous uh, capacity that human beings have to be human, to be civil, to be effective. Okay. The new African mm -hmm. is one who takes the leadership in that process, developing ideas, developing art, developing culture, developing media, developing technology, developing business, developing management, developing organizations that somehow facilitate the best in human development everywhere. And working against, working for the destruction of oppression every place now, in the world. Now I'm not trying to be funny when I say this, okay. but to a certain extent, many of those characteristics sound like a social worker. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. uh, where does that power element comes in that that is going to allow us to deal on a national scale and on a global scale? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm what I'm what I'm hearing is that hey, you have a sensitive person. Mm -hmm. We have been sensitive, and look where we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can you can you address yeah. that? Power is in human dignity. You see, power is in human dignity. That is that, you see, I don't believe then that I should change my values because the world has become barbarian. You see, I think that's a very serious error to assume then that the only way to acquire power is to become as barbaric as the currently powerful. But do you, th do you not think that we are out of balance now? I believe that we are very much out of balance. We are out of balance because we don't have a balanced picture of who we are. We don't understand that we can be humanly sensitive and also politically and economically powerful. We don't understand that somehow we can fight oppression. You know, the, the, the example I simply gave, in, just, uh, I gave a few minutes ago about dealing with the racists. That is that we can become warriors and still be humanly sensitive. And I'm saying we have to be both. We have to be willing to fight against oppression wherever it occurs, physically, economically, but also changing the society. Fifteen seconds. What would you say to the black person who's watching this program with a sense of powerlessness and hopelessness. Go study yourself. And if you study yourself and know who you are, you'll come to love yourself. Well, because of you, we've come to love ourselves more. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate very much. It.